let's talk a little bit about your clip training business. Can you tell us a little bit about it? Sure. Uh, so as I mentioned, it's a Windows Office, Office 365 uh, portal solution. And uh, it also includes the ability for folks to create their own content uh, and add it in. That's what makes it unique. So uh, we typically sell to partners who sell to customers. And ultimately, it gives them the ability to uh, have the content that we've developed in-house, but also to add additional content in that they may have developed in-house or are working on. Um, and so uh, unlike other platforms where you just get what you get, in this case, it gives you a chance to also use it specifically for your environment. And so we focus on uh, the Microsoft world, especially things like Teams, and we have our uh, app, which is in Teams. So you can access it through a browser or right from within Teams so that ultimately your people can keep working even while they're using Microsoft's communication and collaboration suite. Um, and that allows them to be able to take it really wherever they go. Uh, so. It's a, an amazing solution, in my opinion. It's something I'm very passionate about learning. Uh, and it gives the end user the ability to choose their own adventure. And it's designed in such a way that it's, uh, it's colorful, it's, it's uh, engaging. And that's the key with training these days. It's very easy to get uh, the end users to get bored with death, death by PowerPoint, to get bored with the training style. Sometimes it's too mechanical. Uh, it's almost too perfect. Uh, whereas we have real people creating our content and basically they're subject matter experts, Microsoft MVPs and others that do their best to ensure that the content is engaging for the end users. Uh, and then the platform itself is also engaging and easy to use. So uh, the so you have content that you're producing and putting on the training content and, and a, a service provider or a company like a Centercom can produce content and put it on there also. Is that, did I hear that correctly? Yep, that's correct. They can do it either for themselves, for their own company, or uh, in some cases, they may have customers that they'd like to share that content with. So they can put it into their uh, portal and then share that content with others who are in the portals that they've set up. So it makes it easy for them to distribute content and make sure. So for example, if you're an MSP, you might have a variety of customers that you care for. And let's say you're worried about security. And so you create a video or you have a video that's, that you have that you'd like to share with everyone. Well, you can put it into the system and you can share it with all 25, 50, 100 of your customers. Uh, you can even create a learning path so that it ensures that they have it when they log in. Uh, you can feature it so that when they log in, it's right there in front of them. You can do a lot of things to uh, mandate training or just incentivize folks to watch the training. And that's valuable because oftentimes people can get lost when they get into their own learning management system. There's just too much in front of them. We make it so that it's nice and easy for you to put in front of people what you feel they need now. Very cool. Well, the old saying people process and technology from the 90s, um, you know, the people part is, is pretty important. So we got to make sure that they, uh, they know what they're doing. 